This week parasha talks about money. The second set of Torah we're taking out, parasha Shkalim. Half a shekel. Torah says, Zei tenu, kol arver ala pekudim, machatzit a shekel, a shekel a kodesh. It's known when the Torah uses the word ze, this. It means that Hashem appointed to Moshe Rabbeinu with the finger and show him exactly what it means. Similar to this pasuk we see in the menorah. Beze ma'ase a menorah. Melamed she nitkasha Moshe Rabbeinu. Moshe Rabbeinu had a hard time to figure how to create the menorah. Melamed she ra'u ha'kadosh baruchu le Moshe menorah shel esh. He have showed him. Menorah made out of fire, and he told him, Bezeh, this is Ma'asea Menorah. That's the way it should be done. Over here, when we're talking about money, Moshe Rabbeinu had a hard time to understand what Mahatzit HaShekel is. And Hashem have showed Moshe Rabbeinu a coin made out of fire. And he told him, Zeh, and the question is, why it was so difficult to understand what Mahatzit HaShekel is? Moshe Rabbeinu was a melech, he was a king, he understood money very well. Before he became a king in Am Israel, the Midrash says Moshe Rabbeinu was a king in a country called Kush. For 40 years, he ran the country whole country with an army, with the finance department, with the, with the state department, with all the other departments. He ran the whole government, Moshe Rabbeinu. Why well, was so hard for him to understand what half a shekel is? And if he needs to see it, why did Hashem show him, show him a coin made out of fire and not a regular coin? Show him the coin. Show him the real money. What's the idea of showing him a coin made out of fire? But it seems that Moshe Rabbeinu understood money very well. That was not the issue. Problem was, Hashem told him that this money is called also Kesef HaKippurim. This money will atone the sins. You will redeem the sins with the money. Similar to this, we see that Daniel said to Nebuchadnezzar, Hadaach, Zdaka Perok. And Moshe Rabbeinu had a hard time to understand how money can buy atonement. We have seen that in other religions, that money can atone, money can buy kapara. But in Am Israel, in the Jewish religion, the person made a sin. You can buy an atomic with money. That was the hard time for Moshe Rabbeinu to understand. How we throwing money into Kodesh? Money stays, money is whole, and money should stay whole. And all of a sudden, it's called Mahatita Shekel, the Shekel of Kodesh. How is money becomes Kadosh? And Hashem Barach answered Moshe Rabbeinu with a coin made out of fire. Fire can be very dangerous. Fire can cause a destruction. You just uh, heard the tragedy, terrible tragedy that happened in this family. Fire, a couple of years ago, another fire took a few of us from Christ, Israel, seven children. Fire is terrible. But at the same time, Fire is the most useful item. All our cars run on fire. We're cooking on fire. We're heating our homes on fire. The whole world runs on fire. It's one of the foliers of God, ash. The difference is, how do we use the fire? If we use the fire with the right distance, 
with the right cautious, we can benefit from a fire so much. All the manufacturers in the world runs on fire. We could eat them so much with fire. Airplanes run on fire. Boats run on fire. So fire can be a mass destruction, and at the same time, mass creation. And the difference is how do we use the fire? If it's used with control, with the right distance, I can cook on the fire. If the fire is too much, it's going to burn the food. If I use the fire and the, the right control, I will run the house. If the fire will increase too big, I'll burn the house. Using it with the right measurement, that's the secret to the fire. And Hashem Bach showed Moshe Rabbeinu a coin made out of fire. Money is the same as fire. If we use the money with the right distance, with control, with borders, we control the money and we don't let the money to control us. Money can be creating so much. The whole world runs on money. Money buys almost everything. As long as we're using it with the right intention, but if a person let the money get above everything, let the money control him, let the money get too much, increase too much, that, is, that might be a mass destruction as well. Don't make out of money God. Don't make idols from money. Don't bow down to money. Let the money serve you. Do not serve the money. There is a nice story emphasizing the halacha where a person, when a person doubts the Hashem, should be very precise. When you're asking something from Hashem, ask it very carefully, very miduyak. And the story to emphasize it, it's a person who was walking in a desert. He was tired, he was, hung, he was hungry and thirsty, and he wanted to get to the city as fast as possible. So he doubted to Hashem to send him a donkey. A minister who was riding a feeble donkey passed by, and his feeble donkey gave birth to a baby donkey. And he needed help to carry the baby donkey into the city. And he saw this Jewish man passing by. And he ordered him, he commanded him, carry the baby donkey on your shoulder and bring it into the city. He got his for a donkey, and he got a donkey. But not a donkey to ride on, but instead a donkey to ride on him. Donkey in Hebrew, it's hamol. Hamol comes from the word homer. Materialism. When we dug into Hashem for Hamon, we should dug in for Hamon that we're going to ride on it. Hamon that's going to serve us. Homil, materialism that we can use to serve Hashem. Money that we can use to serve Hashem better. A donkey that we're going to ride on it and not a donkey who's going to ride on us. If we're riding on the money, and we use the money to serve us in order to be able to serve Hashem better, then money is called Shekel HaKodesh. But if Has Shalom will let the money control us, then money can be a Satanah Gola. So, Baruch Hashem, tonight, so many great business people gathered together and I believe the intention is how to make money. The, the spice that I'm adding to this meeting is, let's make this money the Shekel HaKodesh. We'll make money as much as possible to be able to serve Hashem better, to make more mitzvot with the money. And Hashem, will send his Berachah, should be all of us,
בעשירות, עשירות ברוחניות, עשירות בגשמיות, וזוכים לגאולה השלמה במהרה בימינו, אמן.